Hello and welcome to Hiking Sweden. Today we're talking about my tent. I have an Jorberg two person three season tent. That was hard to say. I mixed it up a couple of times but now we're done. And I'm just going to say before we start this that I am not getting paid anything for doing this. I'm not getting paid by the company out north which makes Jorberg the Jorberg tent. This is a completely personal point of view from my side, uh, but hopefully it will help you when deciding what tent to buy. I'm also going to say this, that if you live in the European Union, you can order these tents. If you don't, I'm not so sure it's going to be that easily. Probably you can do it from the Out North website, but it's going to you know, be taxes and tolls, etc. That is one of the greatest things about living in the European Union. We are a toll-free union. Uh, where you can order tents from anywhere. So if you want to order my tent, you can go into artnorth.se uh, You can find the, the link in the description or in the video here below. I have the tent here with me uh, and we're going to look how it looks outside. I'm actually going to show you some uh, older footage of me putting it up uh, on my last hike. Uh, probably we're going to see this tent uh, a couple of times in my videos. Uh, since uh, yeah, this is what I'm mostly using right now. Uh, I actually don't own another tent I've actually been borrowing tents from from friends or so so uh, Yeah, the, I'm going to make a review of this tent. I like this tent very much I'm not so experienced with so many other tents. So uh, if you have any good tips on uh, cheap uh, good uh, three season tents, you could just link them in the comments the thing I like most, the things I like most about this tent is that it is, uh, yeah, it's a three season tent. It has good ventilation. I haven't been sleeping in uh, windy areas, so I don't know how it's going to handle high winds. But this summer, I'm actually going to camp in the northern part of Sweden where the winds can blow really heavily. So then we are going to get to try this uh, tent in uh, uh, a bit more extreme conditions. The good thing about this tent is that it is really cheap. It costs around $170, which is pretty good for a two-person tent. One more thing I like is that it is keeping the moisture out. Uh, I've been sleeping uh, pretty many nights in this tent this year. So far it has been dry and nice inside of the tent. It's pretty easy to put up and uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and look at the video of me putting it up. Just a few more of these. So well, here you have my luxurious tent. Uh, it's a Uberg uh, two-person tent. Uberg is a brand made by the company Art North, which is a Swedish Scandinavian. Uh, company which sells uh, outdoor supplies. It's a bit cheaper than buying like a Fjell Raven or, or something like that. So the tent doesn't weigh that much. It weighs around 2.4 kilos. There's only one entrance into the tent. And this is the back side. It's really good ventilated through the, the two top windows. The inner tent is like free floating. It's connected to the outer tent. So I don't have to, to like release it and connect it.
So there you go, it's pretty easy to put up, it has some storm lines, it uh, has uh, one opening, uh, it has two windows for ventilation, and also it's a pretty cheap and good inexpensive tent. It weighs pretty much two and a half kilos. One negative thing about this tent is that it is pretty hard to tighten the tent walls on some of the sides. I think that it isn't that much of a problem, I think it's going to handle pretty harsh winds anyway. If you're looking for a good as tent as this, in this price range, I think you're going to have a hard time finding it. Small problem. The tent poles that holds up this tent are made from aluminium. They are easy to put together. They just come together almost automatically and it is easy to take down as well. The inner tent is connected to the other tent so it's re really easy to put together. And you can also unstrap it from the outer tent if you want to separate the inner and the outer tent for some reason. So far I have a good experience with this tent, I've tented in snow in minus degrees, I've tented now during the spring, and uh, yeah, it just worked well for me, both when it has rained, when it has snowed, uh, and uh, some easy breezes as well. I've slept uh, quite a few good nights in this tent. Probably you're going to see me do more of these gear reviews. If you like what you see, please subscribe, please comment if there is anything you want me to do a review on. Especially if it's a Swedish brand like Fjall Raven or something like that. And also other Scandinavian brands which could be interesting for you.